Well, here we are at the end of another fantastic academic year. And as we come to the end of term three, term three is always a big moment for our examination years in years 11 to 13. Exams seem to have gone smoothly and we wish everyone all the very best for a results day. And this term's been bookended by some quite poignant moments. For year 13, they had spirit week at the beginning of the term where we saw them all dressed up and they've ended the term with big moments in terms of their prom and graduation. And importantly for me, this is a year group where 40% of our graduates started with us in pre-prep and so have known each other for 10 years or more. What a great uh, thing to have experienced all the way through school and so proud for us to wish them all the best as they go on to adventures at universities all around the world. The theme for this term, the character strength, has been collaboration. And we've seen that in evidence through a range of really brilliant drama productions uh, this term. We saw our first ever junior school production of Bugsy Malone, a musical. It was just absolutely brilliant. And for me, the most brilliant bit about the whole thing was that anyone who wanted to be involved was on the stage. I, I really, really can't wait until the production next year. It was absolutely fabulous. We also uh, had in year one a production of Eddie the Penguin, showcasing the talents of our very youngest students and looking forward to them being on the stage in productions further up the year. On that note, we had Senior School Fusion back again annually and a range of really, really fabulous performances from students from year seven up to year 13, from dance to drama to music. Once again, a real showcase for the diversity of talent we have in the school. I can't wait to see it this year. And coming up next year, we have also a Key Stage 3 production of The Free Nine, and I've seen them rehearsing away with the drama team this term, so I can't wait for that. But also, I know today is the announcement of the cast of our senior school production of The Crucible, something that students are extremely excited about and one of the many exciting events that we've coming up. In terms of sports, we've had a range of things over this term, under 13 for this year netball, and also under 13 for this year football, and under 15 for this year football up in Chiang Mai, which is absolutely brilliant. And also another great occasion, the third Bangkok Games, where students from across year five and year six got to participate in a whole range of sports, uh, in a whole range of venues. Absolutely brilliant to see all that participation in the events here in school. Everyone went on to cheer everyone. It was absolutely fantastic atmosphere. Once again, a great occasion for all. But for me, what's been really brilliant this year is we've had sports awards all the way from year three up to year 13, recognizing both those sports people who are super talented in that sport, but also people who just genuinely love the sport and really try and make a difference whether it's in training or whether it's in their team. So well done to everyone who won an award, but so lovely to see those events with everyone, celebrating everyone's achievements in sport across the whole year. We've had a few other epic events across this term as well. We had the Junior Film Festival, James Bond themed, which was absolutely spectacular. I know enjoyed by students and parents alike. I can't wait to participate in it next year. Um, we also had big moment for year two parents, the year two sleepover. And there were some very happy but sleepy children and teachers on the day afterwards, and that went brilliantly well as well. And also two annual events that really, once again, show the kinds of brilliant characteristics our students have. The balloon debate in year five and the Fairburn exhibition in year six. Two really um, core events that are part of a Shrewsbury education and just better than ever this year. Great to see those things on again. Now, the end of an academic year is always bittersweet at school. We're always excited about the next things to come, but we're always also sad to be saying farewell to both students, families and staff. And there are four staff in particular that I wanted to mention here. Between them, they've given over 70 years of service to this school, which in itself is a remarkable legacy. First up is Mrs. Lewis will be leaving us to retire after 15 years of work in the school, in the DT department and leading the whole school in supporting our brightest and best designers, many of which going on to careers in design. 
some of the amazing work in design and technology is on exhibition now if you'd like to see it in the DT department and the incredible craftsmanship uh, on display down there is really a testament to the incredible legacy that Miss Lewis leaves. We wish her all the best. She's not very far away down in Hua Hin with her husband Graham and we wish them all the very best for a very, very happy retirement. Also leaving us from the Thai department is Kru Nuch, who's the head of Junior Thai. She's been with us for 16 years and she's been at the very, very heart of the Thai program all the way back to a rather energetic dance she led uh, for Loi Kratong back in 2008. She's taught across the whole school and knows students incredibly well, has contributed an enormous amount to the teaching, but also the cultural programs here in Thai. She goes off to lead uh, a nursery on the other side of the city. We wish her all the very, very best. Also departing us is Mr. Loudon, our assistant principal students. He actually joined us in 2008 as the head of MFL, but actually really is best known to all of us as being in charge of pastoral care, safeguarding and well-being. And it's safe to say that his work has influenced every single corner of the school. He leaves a massive gap in his lives. His work has been absolutely paramount to the ethos of this school. Our loss is definitely Amsterdam's game. He is going to be deputy head pastoral at the British School of Amsterdam. He's got strong connections here, strong connections to Thailand. We wish him and his family all the very best, but we know that we will see them all very soon as well. Finally, someone here who was at the very, very start of the school when it was founded in 2003, and that's Mr. Lousley. Mr. Lousley is retiring after 21 years of service to the school, a quite remarkable legacy. Over 500 students has pa have passed through his classes and over 300 of those are alumni now. Some of the children that he first taught when he joined the school are in their 30s and many, many, many of them have sent him messages over the course of this week. His uh, influence and his impact on students is there to behold. Actually, every day throughout all of my time here, children who've been in what probably was six DL trot over the playground to sit down with Mr. Lousy at lunchtime and chat to him about how their day has gone. He has educated here a whole generation of students. It is quite incredible the impact he has had and been at the center of things like the Fairburn exhibitions, a core part of a Shrewsbury education, something that he has overseen for 18 years of his time here. We will miss him dearly, but he is not very far away and I, I know that we will see him soon and he will be back in school definitely for the Fairburn exhibitions next year. All that remains really is for any of you who are moving on to wish you all the very best. You're always welcome back here. And those of you joining us back in August, I really, really look forward to welcoming you back. We will be bigger and better than ever with new facilities in both music and drama. I wish you all a very, very restful break and look forward to seeing you all again in August. Thank you ever so much.